Namaste. Welcome to the next video of Machine Learning Practice Course. In this video, we'll study the next step of end-to-end -end machine learning project that is data visualization. Data visualization is performed on training set and in case of large training set, we usually sample examples to form an exploration set. Data visualization enables us to understand the features and their relationship among themselves and with the output label. In our case, since we have a small amount of training data, we'll use all of it for data exploration. In this case, there is no need to create a separate exploration set. It's a good idea to create a copy of the training set so that we can freely manipulate it without worrying about any manipulation in the original data. So there are different visualization techniques that we can use. The first one is the scatter visualization. So we can use the Seaborn library for doing the scatter visualization and there is a scatter plot function in the library that we can use. We have to predict, we have to specify the, the x-axis and the y-axis and the, the data for, for visualization. So the scatter plot prints the data in form of such a graph where we have fixed acidity on the x-axis and density on the y-axis and each point over here is a training point and each point has been assigned a color based on the quality of the wine. Another library that we can use is matplotlib for the same purpose. In matplotlib, we can, we can show the same kind of data with, with slightly uh, different look and fill as well as uh, you know, by using some kind of a color coded strip for denoting the quality. Apart from uh, visualizing individual features, we can also study relationship between features. One of the relationship is uh, standard correlation coefficient. It ranges between minus 1 to plus 1. Correlation of plus 1 denotes a very strong positive correlation between the features. Correlation of minus 1 denotes a very strong negative correlation between the features and correlation of 0 means that there is no linear correlation between the features. We can visualize correlation with a heat map. So note that, note that standard correlation coefficient only captures the linear relationship between the features. If you suspect or if you believe that there is a non-linear relationship between the features, you can use rank correlation for that purpose. Let's calculate correlation between our features. We can use core function for calculating the correlations between the feature. Let's check out the features that are correlated with the label. And in our case, the label is the quality of the wine. So you can see that, uh, so if I, uh, if I plot this correlation matrix with respect to the label, these are correlation of different features with the label. You can see that sulfates is, uh, sulfate has correlation coefficient of 0.22, alcohol has correlation coefficient of 0.48, which is probably the strongly correlated features with the quality of the wine, whereas volatile acidity uh, is probably the strong negative, negatively correlated features with the quality of the wine. We can visualize a correlation matrix with heat map. So there is a heat map function in Seaborn library that we can use for that purpose. So here you can see all correlation coefficients uh, in one go in form of a heat map. So what you see is uh, this is a heat map which is some kind of a symmetric matrix. There are, there are features on y-axis and then there are features also on the x-axis and what you see is each cell calculates correlation between the features. So here you can see that fixed acidity and citric acid are, are strongly correlated with correlation coefficient of 0.66. And uh, you know you can see the color coding that we have used for uh, representing this correlation 
on the side uh, on this color bar here on the side as we move towards correlation of one the color become fainter and fainter and as we move towards a smaller or lower correlation the color becomes darker in this way you can quickly spot strongly positively correlated features as well as negatively correlated features so these are some of the examples of negatively correlated features for example fixed acidity and ph are negatively correlated So you can notice that the correlation coefficient on diagonal is 1. The darker colors represent negative correlations while fainter color denote positive correlations. For example, citric acid and fixed acidity have strong positive uh, correlation uh, with correlation coefficient of 0.66. pH and fixed acidity have strong negative correlation which is correlation of minus uh, 0.67. Another option to visualize the relationship between the features is with scatter matrix. So there is a scatter matrix function in, in pandas plotting library that we can use. So scatter matrix function also plots the relationship between feature in form of scatter, scatter plots. On diagonal you see some kind of a histograms, uh, they denote uh, the distribution of the individual feature. For example, this particular histogram uh, shows, the, uh, shows, the, shows the distribution of the citric acid feature. Whereas this particular scatter plot shows the relationship between citric acid and pH. So this is a scatter plot of citric acid, pH versus citric acid, and so on. For the convenience of visualization, we are showing only a small number of attributes on the screen. Otherwise, this would have been a very large plot which cannot be accommodated on this particular screen. So similar analysis can be carried out with combined features, features that are derived from the original features. There is a small note of wisdom for all of you, visualization and data exploration do not have to be absolutely thorough. The objective here is to get quick insight into the features and its relationship with other features and the labels. Exploration is an iterative process. Once we build a model, we obtain more insights and we can come back to the exploration step if necessary. That's all from the data visualization, uh, visualization process. In the next step, we'll look at how to prepare the data for the training.